Hey everyone, this is Bhargav Sudhar and in today's session we will discuss so what are the algebraic structures. So in this today's session specifically we will learn about uh, the algebraic structures. They are what are the group voids, so what is uh, then what is a semi group, then what is a monoid, what is a group and what is an abelian group. Okay, so, so let us discuss what is a group void. So a non-empty set uh, G with the binary operation star is called a group void. If uh, the binary operation satisfies the closure property okay so uh, and what is the algebraic structure so a uh, set having uh, one or more binary operations is called an algebraic structure so these all are the algebraic structures but we have specific uh, we have the specific name of the algebraic structures so the first one is group void so a set uh, having what uh, only the closure property it is called a group void now let us discuss the second one what is a semi group so a non-empty set G with the binary operation star is called a semi-group if the binary operation satisfies the following properties. So the first one is what? The closure property. Okay. So semi-group uh, must satisfy the closure property as well as the second one that is the associative property. Now what are, what are the uh, properties that we discussed in previous sessions, right? So closure property and associative property then the group is called uh, a semi-group. Okay. Now the third one, what is a monoid? So a non-empty set G with the binary operation star is called a monoid if a binary operation satisfies the following properties. So in each and every uh, in each and every algebraic structure, we are uh, adding one uh, property, right? So the first one, obviously the closure one. Now the second one, obviously the associative one, and the third, the additional property is what? It is the existence of identity. So if we have the closure property, associative property, and also the identity element, then it is called a monoid, right? Then fourth one, the group, okay? Now in same manner, uh, a non-empty set uh, G with the binary operation star is called a group if the binary operation satisfies the following properties. Now obviously the three properties will be same. The first one, the closure property, second one, the associative property, third one, uh, from the monoid so that is the existence of identity and the fourth one existence of inverse so if we have closure associative existence of identity and inverse then it is called a group now uh, if you remember in previous session we discussed the properties of algebraic structures so that were closure associative identity and inverse so only one is left so i think that is the commutative property so uh, so for that we have the abelian group okay so if it is a group having commutative property then it is called an abelian right so in that we will have closure associative existence of identity existence of inverse as well as the commutative property so a commutative group that is called an abelian okay so let us discuss or let us understand it by a graph consider this circle so that is algebraic structure so having closure property okay that is a group point right consider the inner circle having additional property so that is uh, associative property so that is a semi group the third one we are adding one more property so there is existence of identity so that is a monoid then fourth uh, for becoming group we'll add the inverse element so it will become group and as i said uh, a commutative group so that is an abelian group so as you can see that uh, in algebraic structure or in uh, if we have this closure property in semi group we will have associative property uh, monoid identity property group inverse property this all are the additional properties right and abelian group commutative so in other order for abelian group uh, each and every property must be hold so that is commutative inverse identity associative and closure for group four properties inverse identity uh, associative and closure for monoid identity associative closure for semi group a closure and associative and for algebraic structure will have only closure or uh, the specific groupoid will have only closure right now let us discuss uh, example so let q plus be the set of all positive rational numbers and star is a binary operation on q plus defined by the given operation is like this so uh, see it is not necessary that each and every time uh, for the star is specific for multiplication okay so here a star b is what the multiplication of two elements divided by three so it can be different uh, than the multiplication the usual multiplication 
then show that it is an abelian group so the question is what we need to uh, check whether it is an abelian group or not so for abelian group each and every property must hold so that is closure associative uh, then identity and inverse and the last one commutative okay so let us uh, discuss one by one so first the closure property so as you can see that uh, for every ab belongs to q plus q plus means what positive rational so if we uh, take or a, a star b so that is a uh, a into b by 3 so definitely it will be there in q plus so it is uh, closure property holds fine now the second one associative property so let us take three elements uh, let us take three elements a, uh, here there is a correction for every a b c belongs to q plus okay so let's take three elements so as you can see that this a star b star c equals to what a star and what is b star c uh, it is defined as b c by 3 okay now a star something so that is the first element into second element divided by 3 so what we'll get that is a b c by 3 by 3 so a b c my a b c by 9 now let us uh, discuss the right hand side so for right hand side uh, a star b star c so a star b is what a b by 3 it is defined uh, the definition is given star c now first element uh, now a b by 3 so that is considered as first element star c so that is defined as first element into second element divided by 3 so what uh, a b c by 3 and divided by 3 so a b c by uh, a b c by 9 so as you can see that both uh, left hand side and right hand side are same so that means uh, this so hence star is associative okay now for existence of identity now for every a belongs to q plus there exists uh, one element so that element is 3 belongs to q plus such that this a star 3 equals to what a into 3 divided by 3 and that is equals to a so by the definition of identity we need to find one element uh, a star b such that Uh, this a star b equals to what uh, the a uh, a element itself or a star e equals to a element itself so that element here we have three so if we multiply a by three uh, by using the given definition we'll get a itself so here three is the identity element okay and in same manner the uh, the second portion that is also will be a okay so that is uh, identity element exist and it is specifically 3 for the particular example okay now for the inverse now existence of inverse so for every a belongs to q plus there exists a b belongs to q plus okay such that uh, a star b equals to identity but here we have identity as what 3 so that implies this a star b is defined as ab by 3 equals to 3 so what we can conclude this uh, 9 equals to ab so that means b equals to what 9 by a that is also belongs to q plus positive rationals so hence every element possesses inverse and what is that inverse that is 9 by a so if we multiply a into 9 by a we will get 3 so that is the identity element and it is for each and every element and it is true for each and every element so right it has the inverse now commutative for so it becomes group now we want to find the commutative group or the abelian group so for every ab belongs to q plus this is easy now a star b is what ab by 3 and ba by 3 is same as b star a so a star b equals to b star a so it is commutative so hence this q plus and star is an abelian group so this is how you can find that a given set with the operation is an abelian group okay now let us discuss another example now we will do it very quickly now r is given as this the set is given 0 degree 60 degree 120 degree 180 degree 240 degree and 300 degree and here the operation a star b so star is uh, defined as what overall angular rotation corresponding to successive rotation by a and then by b and that show that this r star is a group so is a group so that means we need to find only four properties we need to check only four properties but here what is this a star b overall angular rotation corresponding to successive rotation by a and then by b so we will understand so r is given so first what we will do 
will construct the uh, this table okay like this so uh, check see st uh, we have star the operation is star we have the entries three uh, six entries so 0 60 120 180 240 and 300 now in same manner in column it will be same now how to calculate these entries let us do that now see uh, it is overall angular rotation corresponding to successive rotation so just consider see uh, 0 and 0 that is 0 now 0 plus 60 so 60 now 0 plus 120 so 120 0 plus 180 so this row it is obvious up to 300 now consider this now 60 plus 0 so 60 now 60 plus 60 so 120 60 plus 120 180 so up to this it is clear now 60 plus 240 300 now see consider 60 plus 300 so uh, what is 60 plus 300 so that is 360 now 360 is same as 0 degree okay the uh, overall one uh, rotation is there so what we'll do 60 plus 360 so instead of uh, writing 360 we'll uh, write uh, from the given set okay uh, so they are same so 0 degree is same as the 360 rotation fine so it is 0 degree now in same manner up to this it is obvious now 0 what 120 plus 240 and that is 0 degree now 120 plus 300 so that is 420 but it is equivalent to 60 degree so we will write here 60 now in same manner up to uh, this it is same now 180 plus 300 it will be 480 so it is same as 120 okay so this is how you can uh, construct this table okay and as you can see that each and every element uh, uh, that belongs to uh, the set from the set okay r so i think the first property is done the closure property is done fine so the first one closure property so it is obvious from the table so uh, we did just discussed now the associative property so for uh, every abc belongs to r c uh, a star b star c equals to a star b star c now consider each uh, e, you can uh, pick any three elements so we have picked uh, this a b and c that is 60 120 and 180 so the left hand side will be what 60 star 120 star 180 now what is 120 star 180 uh, that we have already done in the table so that is 300 now what is 60 and 300 so that is 0 degree ok so a star b star c equals to 0 degree if we change the bracket so that is a star b star c so it will be same as 0 degree so it is associative ok now for existence of identity so for every a belongs to r we have one uh, one element so that unique element is what this 0 degree such that what the same element star some element it will be uh, uh, itself ok so here we have 0 so a star 0 it will be a so itself so that means what we can say it is the identity element now existence of inverse so uh, we know that for existence of inverse we need to find a star b equals to the identity ok and we have the identity that is 0 so for every a belongs to r there exist b belongs to r such that what a star b equals to 0 degree uh, like this so we need to find b so what will uh, be now from the table what will be b as you can see that this inverse of 0 is what 0 then inverse of 60 that is 300 so let us consider the table see uh, inverse of 0 that is 0 so the element into some element will get 0 so inverse of 0 is 0 now here from the table 60 so inverse of 60 is what here answer is 0 where is the answer of 0 corresponding to that element is 300 so inverse of 60 is 300 now in same manner in inverse of 120 it is 240 inverse of 180 it is 180 now inverse of 240 is 120 and 300 that is 60 so this is how you can find the inverse ok so hence r star is a group so closure property associative property existence of identity and existence of inverse so this is how you can find you can check whether it is a group or not thank you